Welcome! This tutorial will show you how the tracking tools in Magaya give freight forwarders and NVOCCs an easy way to keep their customers informed. We'll start with creating and sending transaction tracking emails and then show you our interactive online tool, LiveTrack. Transaction tracking gives your customers current information about their transactions via an email message with a link. When the customer receives the email, they can click on the link and view the current status of the transaction in real time. You only need to send the link once. Your customers can open it and view the current details at any time. In order to set up transaction tracking, you'll need to go into your Magaya, find maintenance, then configuration, then transaction tracking. In here, you'll notice several options. You'll need to enable transaction tracking for any of the below transactions that you like. The option to enable the transaction tracking widget allows you to put transaction tracking directly on your website. For example, if you go to our homepage, magaya.com, click on solutions and go to plugins, you'll find in the transaction tracking area an option to customize your transaction tracking. For example, this is the widget that would show up on your website. Your agents, customers, and contacts will be able to select the transaction type and enter a transaction number. Once they click the search button, they'll be able to see their transaction. There's several options here, so you'll need to review which ones you like. Then below, where it says transaction tracking email, you can enable how you want the email to be sent to your customer. For example, do you want to be prompted, or do you want the email to be automatically sent when the transaction is finished? Another nice feature that we have is that you can trigger the transaction tracking by events. This means that you can go to your event definition section in the configuration area and set up any number of events that you'd like and whether the event will trigger a transaction tracking email or not. This is critical to automating the process in keeping your customers informed daily. Lastly, in the transaction tracking configuration, you can configure the email client that you'd like to use and the template. By default, the system comes with a transaction tracking email template. You can modify this template or other templates by going to the email template section in the configuration area of your system. Now let's talk about giving permission for transaction tracking to your users. For transaction tracking, you can give access to forwarding agents, customers, and individual company contacts. For example, if I have a representative within the company consignee of Tokyo Inc., I'll need to select them, click the Actions button, and select Configure Transaction Tracking. I can also just right-click on them and get the same menu. In here, I can use the default configuration, never send anything to them, or customize it. We'll need to choose which transaction type we would like to customize by clicking the checkbox next to them. By enabling the transaction type here, we're giving this contact access to see the transactions with their name on it. This means that they won't be able to see other customers' transactions. LiveTrack is our interactive online tool that your customers can log into 24-7 worldwide and see their cargo, send you requests, and pay their invoices. Let's see how to set it up and use it. In Magaya, you'll first need to go to Maintenance, then Configuration, then LiveTrack. Here you can select whether you want to show the charges in LiveTrack or not, or if you only want to show the charges applied to that specific LiveTrack customer. Afterwards, you'll need to go back to Maintenance and set up either your agents, customers, or individual company contacts. For example, let's select Consignee Representative, and either from the Actions menu or right-clicking, we select Allow Tracking. In this screen, we're selecting who we're giving access to, their username, and password. You can click the Generate button and the system will automatically assign a password to your users. In just a moment, we'll show you an email that's sent to your customer with their username and password already put on it. You'll also want to make sure that you're enabling LiveTrack access. In the Tracking tab, we can specify the tracking permissions for this user. For example, you can choose whether you want them to send attachments to the transactions or not, have access to specific online features, or view certain transactions, such as warehouse receipts. You can further restrict the permissions for this user by going to the Restrictions tab. In here, you can restrict by origin, also known as port of loading, destination, also known as port of unloading, modes of transportation, and specific company divisions. Just click the Add button and select what you would like. Notice that the password will need to be a combination of letters and or numbers, with a minimum of 6 characters and maximum of 15 characters. Once we're done setting up our user, we can click OK, and then we can send them the invitation email by right-clicking or going to the Actions menu and selecting Send Invitation Email. This is a sample of the invitation email that you can customize under the Email Templates configuration. As you can see, they can click the link here 
and they're given a login, password, and cargo agent ID, which is your Magaya public ID. So if you would like to customize this template, just go to Maintenance, Configuration, Email Templates, and either edit the Customer Tracking Invitation email template, or create a new one by clicking Add, and then going to Outgoing Messages under Configuration, and selecting the default template for the tracking invitation emails. If you would like to give your users the option to register themselves, go to the Customer Setup Configuration menu. In here, you can give access to how your customers should register and what they do afterwards. You can even give them access to update their own passwords. Another nice feature to keep you updated in what your users are doing is by setting up system alerts under the configuration menu. When you click on the add button, you can select when to be alerted. For example, if a user attaches something to LiveTrack, you can be alerted. You can also be alerted when they register and when you receive requests from them. Okay, so now let's log into LiveTrack. There's two ways your users can log in. First, they can click on the link in the invitation email, which will take them to tracking.magaya.com, and they can enter the information from their email. Or you can put this following link on your website and change this number to your Magaya public ID and the color you'd like. When you do this, your logo will automatically come out and your company name. In order to upload your logo, go to the Company Configuration menu. In here, browse for your logo and then publish it. Also notice that when you customize your LiveTrack this way, your users won't need to put in your Magaya public ID. The only thing they'll need to enter is their username, password, and the language they'd like. Your users will have access to register, update their passwords, or just log in. The first time they log in, they'll be prompted for some security questions. They can either answer and save them, or skip. Now we're taken to the main screen of LiveTrack, also known as the home. On the top, your users will have specific functions. For example, if you want them to send an ocean shipping request, they can right here. When we were allowing permissions, this would be the option to send online shipping orders. As you can see, there's other options to send certain transactions, which can also be found on the top here. By clicking the track button, that transaction tracking widget we spoke of earlier is now here. They can select the transaction type they'd like and enter a transaction number. For example, this is the house bill of lading number for their house. Once I click search, we can now see the information for their house shipment. Also on the top is the user's profile. In the settings button, the user can set up their measurement units, which live track screen is their default, and format their dates. They can also change their password and customize their live track templates. A live track template is a template for one of the orders they can submit. For example, if I click on ocean shipment and add, we can go through the screens of submitting an ocean shipment and then we can save that order as a template. Now when we go back to templates and select shipments, we can use, update, and delete our templates. All of these options allow users to submit new orders for bookings, pickup orders, cargo releases, air shipments, ocean shipments, and ground shipments. This means once they submit an order, your Magaya system will automatically receive that order. For example, if I go under Magaya Network, Messages, and then Inbox, we'll notice that a customer submitted an online pickup order. We can accept the order by right-clicking and saving to the database, and then fulfilling the pickup order. The left-hand side has all the transactions they have access to, so if you remember when we were giving them access, we chose what they had access to view. For example, if we click on invoices, we can see all of the invoices for consignee of Tokyo. We can double click to see additional details and they can even pay, approve, or dispute the invoice. As far as them paying invoices online, they don't need to worry because Magaya is connected to a secure payment merchant. Once they pay the invoice, you can even get notified when the payment is completed. There are many other options such as printing and emailing the invoice and users can upload documents and pictures to any transaction in LiveTrack. If the transaction has attachments, they can even save them. Now let's take a quick look at the LiveTrack list view. On the top left, we can select predefined dates or customize the dates. Rather than sending daily, weekly, or monthly reports to your customers, they can go into LiveTrack, click on the Actions button, and export the data out for themselves. They can choose the columns they'd like and then download the information to Excel. We'll wrap up this video with three steps your LiveTrack users can use to customize the views in LiveTrack. 
First, users can select predefined dates or filter data using the standard or advanced filter. Second, they can choose the columns they want by clicking Actions, then choose Columns. And then third, they can click on this button up here and save the view with any name they would like. This video showed you how to keep your customers informed using transaction tracking and live track. Check out the knowledge base for step-by-step -step articles you can print or email to help you use the software fully. Thanks for watching.